Preventing new housing from being built doesn't get rid of the demand for housing, it just shifts that pressure onto older housing. In a housing market where we continue to build new housing supply, the people who are willing and able to pay more for their housing tend to move into newer and more expensive housing. And over time, those newer and more expensive homes today often become the older and more affordable homes of tomorrow, as long as we continue to build new housing. But when we don't build new housing, we just put pressure on the overall housing market. The people who can pay more for their housing just bid up the cost of older housing, and the people who can't afford that new price face more and more dire consequences as a result. In fact, this effect has a name, vacancy chains. When new housing gets built, the people who can afford to move into those places free up their old place for somebody else. And the people who can move into that place free up their old place for somebody else. And the people who move into that place free up their old home. And the people who move into that place